Jessica come out on me. So the left lane is the best option right now. And I'm lifting my foot again. All those materials could come out. I'm lifting my foot. So this is a good example. Uh, I have a car that's kind of tailgating me. I want to keep with the flow of the traffic. I have to get over in a moment. So I'm going to look for a gap. I got over. It's pretty good. You want to get over as early as possible for your exit. Oh, car behind me didn't use the blinker. So I'm looking for that blink of light. I'm going to go ahead and get over. Hey, that's pretty good. And then I'm lifting my foot. Taking my time. And then I'm lifting my foot totally off the gas. The Chevron and Lemon Sands tell us it's a sharp curve going to the right. But remember they're on the left side I'm lifting my foot anytime it's wet out here there's the danger of spinning out we got a warning sign telling us there's a light ahead we got a guide sign so my blinkers on I'm dropping speed I'm in the inside left lane the lights yellow now it's red I'm off the gas teach your beginning drivers your delts look ahead at the lights and I'm squeezing my brakes and I'm gonna stop behind the stop line This is a double left turn. I'm in the inside lane. The vehicle next to me, they're in the outside left turn lane. They'll go by the guardrail side or the near lane. I'll go in the inside lane by the double yellow. This is a common error for beginners to go in a round lane and this could cause an accident. The lane to the right, same thing. There's an outside right turn lane and an inside right turn lane. So it's nice to keep some fresh air coming in. You always want to look because cars do run this light and you can see traffic coming downhill. And I'm looking left and right. And then when I turn, I'm going to hit right by this double yellow. That was a good turn. If this brought you value, give it a thumbs up. I do driving tutorials. I look forward to interacting with you. Bye.